Hi everyone, so today we're going to introduce you to 3D modeling when it comes to Rhino 7. And this is from a previous video where we did a quick 2D draft of this mechanical uh, part. If you haven't seen and done this already, feel free to go to one of our previous videos and do that tutorial uh, because we'll be kind of kicking off from there. But essentially at this point, we have a 2D a line drawing of this mechanical part and we can start uh, 3D modeling from this point. So I want to introduce you to some basic commands. Once you have some lines, you can actually use what's called the extrude command and it will take these curves and then turn that into a solid by offsetting it by a certain distance. Um, you'll notice that the, the curves we have right now are one continuous polyline, so that is um, exactly what we want. In the case that it isn't yet, let's say we explode this and they are individual curves, we can uh, select all the lines and then choose to join them. In this case, we want all the red lines to be joined. I can right click that layer, choose uh, select objects, that chooses all the lines and curves on that layer. Then I'll type in join, and then it is one curve. So at this point, uh, let's make this layer called 3D. We want all our solid 3D objects in that layer. We'll make it active. And then let's type in extrude. You'll notice it fills in the blanks. It's extrude curve. There's also extrude surface. In our case, we're dealing with a curve, so we'll choose extrude curve. Next, it wants us to select the curves to extrude. That would be this line. Now, these are holes, so ideally we would actually um, select everything. So then when we extrude it, it won't extrude these circles. And you'll see that by, if I hit enter, in this case it is 12 in terms of thickness, so I'll just type that out. You also want to point in the direction you want to extrude. So you can see on the right view, I want to extrude upwards. And then I'll type in 12 and enter. Oh, 12. Make sure it's 12. Enter. Okay. So you can see here in our perspective view, it extruded the holes, right? If I delete that, let's say I extrude and I only select that outer line, I'll hit enter, you'll see that, let's hit 12, it only extrudes that solid, right? And that's okay. Uh, what we can do is then subtract these holes after the fact. So let's just say we extrude, and we're going to select all three of the circles, extrude that out, and we'll extrude it by 12 again. Now there's some overlapping solid objects, right? But what we want to do is subtract these circle solids into or out of this larger one, right? So there's a command called Boolean difference. Um, if you just click the arrow here, it's the second from the left. You can see it's called Boolean difference. You can also type that out. First, you select the surface or poly surface to subtract from. So that's the larger object. We want to subtract the holes out of it. Then you hit enter. And then we'll subtract the kind of cylinder objects or the holes. So make sure that in our case, we want to delete the input. We don't want that solid there anymore. And then we're just going to select all those, hit enter. And then now we can see it is truly subtracted, right? So that's great. Next thing is we need to do the um, kind of additional solids above here. Uh, we don't have any lines completed yet, so we can go back to our curves and begin drafting that, right? So here, potentially we'll go to our right view. Make sure project is on, that way we can ensure that the curve we draw will be completely flat. That way when we do turn it into a 3D object, we won't have any um, issues with um, extruding the curve.
Okay, so first thing is drawing that outer outline. So we know it goes 52 from the bottom of this, um, and this thickness is 12, so it actually goes up by 40. So I'll type that in, 40. And then if you have intersection on and uh, smart track, then I can just hover over this point, make sure that it's crossed. Also have perpendicular on, so make sure that angle is 90 degrees. And then I'll just hit that endpoint and enter, right? So I have this perfect kind of outline here. And then now I want to make sure I get this curve can see that it's a curve or radius of seven. So I can type in the fillet command, make sure the radius is seven, and then I can go about there. Uh, I have trim turned on, so I don't have to trim this after. So just want to make note of that. Uh, I can right click to redo that command of trim. And there you go. Next. We have the holes that are part of this. We know that it goes through the object, which is 12 deep. And this looks like 12 roughly as well. Um, I don't see any dimension, so let's assume that. And it has like a full semicircle of a curve. So we can draw that as well. Um, and it's off the top from seven, right? So let's draw some construct construction lines, for example. And right click. So that's roughly where that hole will start. Um, I'm just going to polyline again. Again, 12. Polyline. Come across, hover over that corner. And then I'll just make my way, enter. Okay, so I missed that point. I'll just shift it to the end. So there you go. Gonna select those curves. I'm gonna type in join. So then now it's one closed curve. And then I'm just gonna delete these extra lines. Kind of were just construction lines. And then I'll type in fill it again. This time the radius will be six. Make sure that you have trim to, to yes. And then I'm going to right click to repeat that command. And I'll just go all the way around. So that's great. Now um, I'm almost ready to extrude this. Uh, I just need to close this curve. You can see that if I did extrude this, For example, oh. it doesn't have a solid, right? And that's because this curve isn't closed. So I'm going to control Z. Um, and then I'm just going to type close curve. So that is one complete segment, right? Next, we'll notice with the project command, it projected to somewhere in the middle of this object. I'm just going to type move. And from the top view, I'm just going to move it across. So it's at the end here, right? Kind of mirroring what's happening there. And then now making the 3D my active layer, I'm going to type extrude curve and then bring this across to 12. So that's perfect. This is just duplicate of that, so I'm just going to select that solid, type in copy, and then bring that across, hit escape. Now I can just turn off all my curves, and that should be pretty good, right? Last thing is right now there's three separate solids. What we want to do is combine it into one single solid, and what we can do is use the command of Boolean union, it's the first on the left can also type it out here. And then I just select all three solids, hit enter, and there you go. So uh, there you have it, um, some basic commands for 3D modeling. And you can always change the view of how it looks like um, by testing it.
All right, so there you have it, some basic 3D modeling commands for Rhino 7. If you like this video and got value out of it, please like our uh, video. It helps with the algorithm. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. I'm happy to see if there's anything I can help with, troubleshooting and whatnot. And um, if you're looking for more Rhino tutorials or anything design and architecture related, make sure that you subscribe to our channel to get the latest notification on our next video.